Sensei Mac, back there showing another video. Make sure you hit that like and hit that subscribe. But yeah, though, man, I just reached 500 subscribers, man. I appreciate everybody that's that show love to my videos, that like my videos, that comment on my videos, and they even send my videos. So please make sure y'all send my videos more. But I, I really appreciate y'all though. Like, for real, rap, though. Like, I ain't gonna forget everybody that was in at the beginning. But uh, yeah, though, but because I reached 500 subscribers, though, I'm gonna give you a little story time. This is a story from back when I was booked, though. So I did like a year in jail, a year and a couple of days in jail. Y'all know, I look like I did, but you know, that's, that's where I really got my little workout uh, measurement going on. Started working out all crazy, got booked, and all that. Came home, work out. I went to jail, 260 pounds, though. Real rap facts. You can ask anybody me. Like, I was fat, big before I, before I went to jail, though. Like, went in there, started working out. Didn't even eat right. I was eating Chi Chi's all day. So, it's all about his willpower. It's about just work. I worked out. All day long, I had nothing but time. All I did was just work out. You feel me? Not all day in the beginning. I did a little push ups here and there. You feel me? Like with my couple of my cellies, we did a little workout. Like, like I stepped in, I kept getting stretched from cell to cell. It was a little process though, getting used to it though. Like a lot of people, they'll look at me, they're like, oh man, I can tell you know you don't belong in here. Like, what you doing in here? Blah, blah, blah. Like, like people just kept saying that though. But it was cool with me though. Like, like I ain't had nobody like try to like, you know what I mean? Play tough guy with me, none of that though. Like all these stories you hear about, like people getting raped and all that. Like I ain't experienced none of that. Me, I'm just lucky. I was, I ain't, I ain't go through none of that though. Like I was letting none of that go down. Any, I was letting none of that go down anyway. But, but I, ain't, I didn't experience none of that though. Like, cause I was just chilling, falling back, boy. Like you get the same energy that you put out there. Like even though I was deep down the side, I was nervous. Like I'm like, dang, man, I'm in jail, man. Like shh, I ain't never been here before, man. You know all the stories you hear about people getting raped and all that. People getting tried, getting run down on. No, I, I was thinking about stuff like that, but I just like exited out of my mind though, and I was like, I, I would just like see somebody, they be dead. I probably laugh, you know that. Like I, I kept laughing because those people would be the funniest in jail. Like I wasn't just sitting there all tough all day. Like somebody say some funny stuff, bro, man. I burst out laughing. Like I couldn't hold it in. One boy like, oh man, he always laughing. It's like, Who call you smiling, man? Like just bed with me though. Then he asked for all trauma. Then we, we busted up, though. Then he started telling me about where he was from and what he did growing up. Then he asked me what I did to get in there. Not, but that's how I really got cool with a lot of people, though. Like, like, people always say, like, yo, you always just, like, you just walk around. You just, like, you, you, you're very outgoing. Like, if you watch my videos, it can seem like I'm very shy. But in person, you meet me, I'm a, I'm a very outgoing person. Like, I can talk to anybody, start a conversation with anybody. Like, it don't matter, but... Man, that's, that's kind of like what I was doing in jail, too, though. But like, I wasn't, like, just all real familiar with just one of the people, though. So I was just, like, just chilling. Like, if I, I might start a little conversation about, about something and then bust out with people. But, um, yeah, though, but I started working out heavy once I got to my, uh, once I got upstate. I started working out heavy and started running. I couldn't, yo, I couldn't even run a mile at first. I couldn't even hardly run a half a mile at first. I, I would run, then I'd get tired. I swear all day, I run. Let's get tired. I ran a lap one time, and it took you to, you go around a lap four times to make a mile. And I couldn't even run around the lap one time without stopping. I run around halfway, boom, stop. Run around halfway, boom, stop. And mind you, that's not even a mile, because it takes you to run around a lap four times to make a mile. So I run around the lap, boom, then it passed out, yo. All right, I almost passed out one time. A couple of my men said that, uh, and one of my men got. I was cool. With, um, I got cool with in jail. I, I didn't even find out where he was from until like we was about to basically about to leave. But, but he uh, he got killed um, last year. Man, R.P. R.P. The Love. You know what I mean? He got killed last year. But uh, but he he had to like then they like pick me up almost. You know, my legs was done for. They buckled on me like I couldn't walk. Like I'm trying to walk back. Like they was laughing at me though. Cause at first I was working out cool. You feel me? I, I'm in there. I'm doing my little thing, push-ups, you know, doing pull-ups I can do, doing squats, you know, I'm cool, I'm taking my time, but jogging, you know, mind you, I'm a fast boy, you feel me, I run fast, so I didn't really think, like, jogging was going to be this much of a problem for me, but now, I can run three miles straight, you feel me, 
Like I'm a I'm a phenomenal jogger now. Like I can jog with the best of them. Matter of fact, I, I just ran four miles like uh like a month ago because my cousin he in the, uh he in the military and he, and he do the joint every Wednesday with his peoples and they uh and they do like a little I think a a five mile or, or six mile run whatever they do. But I can't do it with them so I uh. I said, boom, on Wednesday morning before I go to work, I'm going to run a little uh, four miles or some try to run. So, boom, ran four miles. First time, maybe turn it off, but it's cool though. But um, back to what I was saying, though, in when I was in jail, I could barely run a mile. Like, I could barely run a, a, a quarter of a mile. So, like, just I kept going, doing it every day, just walking and jogging, walking and jogging every day. Like, I was consistent with it. Like, it took time. Like, like now it's like I'm a pro jogger. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Like I, it's all I, I love jogging now. Like it's, it's a blissfulness feeling, and you can just run it hard. Like if you've been jogging, you you want to work out. You if you at home, you want to go come in. You want to clean real quick. You want to do other stuff. Like it's literally a run it hard you get, and it's a great way to meditate. Like it's it's, a, it's great for meditation. Like you just think about any problems you got going on, or boom, clear your mind. Don't think about anything, because you meditate really for the clearing your mind, or you can meditate on something else. There's two different ways to meditate. It's, it's a million ways to meditate actually, though. But um, I love running. But um, anyway, back to what I was saying though, I was in jail. I couldn't do that. But one thing that happened to me when I was in jail though, like I would just be bored, right? So this this when I was in the county still, I uh. I used to really be drawing, like, just, no, literally drawing, like, I was just drawing on the wall and stuff like that, so I'm, I started drawing all over the wall, my silly, you see me, we do a couple things, too, like, here and there, though, but, um, I drew, like, a bank robbery, like, on some bored, funny stuff, like, you drew, drew a whole bank robbery on the wall, like, 3D bank robbery, like, it was, a uh, the stick man, I drew stick man, though, I couldn't draw people, I drew a bunch of stick man, I drew 3D uh, bank, 3D police cars, perimeter outside, with the little walk, I drew the little walkie talkies and everything. It was tough though. I drew the words they were saying. I, I drew a person running on them, leaving them because they see the cops coming. He's supposed to be the lookout. He didn't tell nobody. He just dipped on them. And now they surrounded, you feel me? And then I drew somebody trying to come out and make a plea deal. And then I, I just drew people in there like they ready to go. Like they, they about to come out. They ain't doing nothing yet, but they about to come outside. Like they all strapped down. Like everybody that was in the bank was strapped down. I drew, I drew hostages on the ground. I, it was it was funny like it was a, it was a little it was a joke though like that's why I drew the that's why I drew the guy coming outside making the plea deal and, uh, and I drew the guy running running away like it was it was a joke but um I know I shouldn't be drawing the walls though but uh and I drew more stuff on the walls like like a little flowers the other stuff like just a little space out of space and spaceships other stuff like that just bored drawing stuff young and dumb just doing dumb stuff but uh. My uh, my Sully, <laughs> he had the same name. I, I drew his name on the wall. I just last name and everything on the wall and said I was here. Or no, I said I did this. He coming to sell like, oh, I'm not playing your teeth off the wall. Like the CEO coming in to sell, like, oh, you better erase all this stuff. Now she know I did it though, cause she previously came to sell. So I laughed and when she seen the, the bank robbery, and she uh, she went to go get another CEO so he can come look at it and he started laughing. He take a picture of it so he can uh. He can show his boys around the way. He was cool, throw board though. Like he was cool. I, he was gonna draw though. But um, but they said like, yo, y'all better take this down. Like y'all better take this down before the before they run down. They you don't know when they gonna run down. It, this, this is the uh, they call it the turtles. These people that run down. They check your cell and make sure you don't got no contraband. Now if they come in my cell and they see all this, it's a wreck. We all going through the hole. So I I had a little stuff on the wall like my my block and stuff like that. Put HD on there and all that. But uh. I erased a lot of that stuff while I tried though, cause I, I went to the um what's the name to the uh to the uh to the doctor and um in there and I, I used to get sleeping pills though, cause I I could not go to sleep when I was in jail. I just I I fell my little bed though with my sully and all that coming out playing speeds and all that in the bed with my sully, but it still was real stressful for me. Like mine was my first time in jail so. Like, I really kind of caught for being in jail at first. But, but hey, me and my cellie, he's bitten. I used to be on the gate, just bitten with people, though. So, like, but but even though people, they could walk up to me and say, like, yo, I can tell it's your first time in jail, bro. Like, blah, 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 blah. But, but deep down inside, like, I wasn't really caught with it, so I couldn't go to sleep at night. Like, 
about to get, take sleeping pills. But long story short, I went to the doctor to get sleeping pills. By the time I come back, the CEO, she said, yo, you better sh I mean, lick yourself with the walls. Yo, they, about to, they about to do a shakedown. Like, she giving up the heads up. Like, yo, you about to shake this block down the neck. So me and my son, we running to the joint. Me trying to hurry up and reach yourself with the wall. It was too late, though. The, the, like, because I just now coming back. And uh, my son, he was in there. He, he only worried about racing the stuff he did. He ain't even racing my stuff off. He, man, he, I, as he should, though. He raced his block. He put his name up there somewhere. He racing his name off the jaw. My, my other son, he, he just laying back because he ain't, he ain't draw a thing. Like, I'm not going to do this shit, man. Y'all did it. So, like, that's up, man. So, I'm, I'm running there. I'm, I'm racing everything off. I'm trying to race, like, the freaking the lane stuff off the wall. Like, they could, they could really, like, just link it to me. And, uh, and then they, they run down saying against the wall. And then they act like John. I said, man, this is in, this is on here when we came in here. No, it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't in this cell when y'all came in here. Man, so when y'all did this, man, I be asleep, man. I, I sleep all the time. Like I see like I got sleeping pills, I take these sleeping pills, I be asleep. Like I don't know what's be going on. And then uh I sell you I sell you. no, I'm I'm tripping. Did, when I came back to the block, my other study was already booked. Yeah, he was already booked. Me, me and my other son, he was coming back, and we ran and we tried to uh, erase it. But uh, he said we did it though. He already tried to say we did it though. Yeah, this, this is over like a minute ago, so I'm, I'm getting the story a little switched up. But he tried to say we did it though. So I'm like, nah, I ain't, I ain't do it, but I don't know who did it though. They asked me who did it. Though. I don't know who did it though. I be asleep. I told I see sleeping pills. And the CEO, she even vouched for me though. She's super thorough, yo. I swear in my life, she's super thorough. She said, yeah, he'd be asleep all day. He'd be taking these sleeping pills. So I, it wasn't him. I know it wasn't him, though. But because he'd be asleep all day, though. <laughs> but she ain't really like my cell. I, I put his, she knew I put his name on the wall. And she just came in the cell and tried to make him clean that whole cell. Clean that. Clean the whole wall because she ain't like him, though. Like, yo, I was cracking up when she did that, though. But she wasn't going to get me sick of the hole or nothing, though. When they ran down, though, that's when she was trying to get me sick of the hole. She was trying to say, yeah, he did that shit on, on 50 Cent John. Like, yeah, he, he did that, but uh, on Canaan John, I meant, but uh, but we uh, we got sent to the hole for that, and I'm walking by in the cuff, and it's like, Shh, man, I told you, man, I told you, stop drawing the wall. Like, I mean, it was like, it was funny though, but still, I told you, it was gonna draw. But, like, people would come in, it was they would crack up at the bank, you know, everybody love that bank robbery picture, yo. I wish I can go up there and get that picture because they got it on file because they, they, they pulled it up in the court because I had to go to court for that. Uh, like in, inside jail, I went to the whole hearing for that because uh, they tried to say that it was a conspiracy for me to do an actual bank robbery when I get home or some stuff. My CEO did say they might try to do something like that because it's, it's guns involving guns and stuff. And they was doing the, all these school shootings at the time and stuff like that. And it was around the time all these school shootings happening bad and Obama was trying to push these certain laws, these gun laws and stuff like that. So it was like, they really tried to say that it, that was the plan for, for one of us to try to rob a bank when we get home. Why would we put that on the wall then? Like how dumb do you think we are? So to write, a, to premeditate a bank robbery and put it on a plan. I mean, I said put it on a plan, put it on the wall. But whatever the case may be, they tried to say that and then, uh, I'm like, no, nah, man, what you talking about? Uh, that, that was, why would somebody do that? Like, that, that doesn't even make sense. That, that's, that's not that smart. I don't think nobody's that dumb to do something like that. I'm pretty sure it was just a drawing that somebody did out of boredom. And then, uh, blah, 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 they talk and ask me who did it. I, I don't know who did it. Like, and then, um, uh, my study had already said it was us too. Us and stuff like that. So we got sent to the hole. He got sent to the hole too, but on the other side of the he, he, we got sent to the hole. Matter of fact, he got sent to custody. Cut, take the custody. Matter of fact, we got sent to the hole. Um, and we, we it was love because we got put in the same cell. You know that was love though. But being the hole is one of the worst things to do in jail. It's like you, you lock down twenty three hours a day. Like you you just sit in your cell all day long. And at the time, I was having a hard problem, a hard problem with uh with just being used to being in jail. After being in a hole for a month and two weeks, when I came out, it came out, it was no problem. Like, I was bitten regularly. Like, boom. They even raised my max. You feel me? They raised my custody level and put, put me in a max jail because I was doing well. You feel me? So, like, but coming out, though, once I got out the hole, everything was good, though. Like, 
I was finally gelling. Like that, the, I had to go in a hole probably because I had to like learn how to, like I had to learn how to bid. I couldn't bid at first. I was just too worried about going home and like keep waking up. Like dang, like I'm really like in jail. Like I'm really like in this place right now. Like I'm really gotta get told when to go to sleep or when to eat. And it's like I really couldn't like cope with it at first. But being sent to the hole, man, I couldn't wait to go back to the block. Like bro, right once I got sent back to the block. I was cold now. Now I'm bidding with people and all that. I've, I've been trying to bid, but like it's, it was genuine now. At first, I was forcing it. Like, like I was forcing it. Like I was just being out there, just being outside on the block. Like I'd rather be inside the cell, but I was just coming outside on the block because I didn't want to make it seem like one of them bulls that be scared to come outside the block. Be scared to come out the cell. They be sitting in the cell all day, never come outside. But once I got sent to the hole, like I couldn't wait to reach population again. Like. Well, all right, like, I really cannot wait to get back to population. Like, it's crazy. Like, I wasn't even thinking about going home. I was thinking about going back to population. Like, that's what I was thinking about. Like, like couldn't make no phone calls. Just couldn't do no commissary. Like, man, I was stressing. But other than that, though, like, yo, being in jail, to me, personally, like, I don't think jail is for nobody. Like, it doesn't re rehabilitate no, no anybody. It's like... Spend somebody in drug therapy or alcohol addiction class. If they're not willing to change, they're not going to change. So you can put somebody in jail all they want. Or you can give a, pick an addict and put them into a rehabilitation all they want. If they're not ready to change, they're not ready to change. Like, stuff like that it doesn't change nobody. It doesn't rehabilitate nobody. Unless you're willing to change, that's the only time you change and you become a better person. Or you stop doing whatever you was doing is when you want to do it. It's not because you get locked up or because you get caught. Like, when I got locked up, Seven days later, no, ten days later, I was going to school to be a medical assistant, and I was trying to tell, I was trying to tell the judge that, like, yo, in ten days, like, it's my first time getting, like, like, ooh, like, I, in ten days, I go to school, like, I'm, I'm supposed to start school, be a medical assistant, and all that. He's like, dang, I'm sorry to hear that, but, you know, like, maybe when you come home, I'm like, man, that's crazy though. But then again, I feel like though, if I was right though, like, I wouldn't have got so long in jail, like, for my first. Sure, though, and they get a felony on my first joint, though. But I don't always use a race car for everything because I know a lot of stuff isn't, isn't like, everything isn't always race. Everything always isn't like, like filled with race or because of race. But but a lot of stuff and, and some factors in life, it definitely got to do with race, though. Like the fact that you gave a, you seen a young black man in his early, early 20s, like, just turned 22, feel me? And you get this man one to three years for his first charge. And that is giving you probation or parole. But I guess, like, I had to go to the like it was part of growth though, and somewhat. Even though I was going to change though, but it, it, like it stamped it that I was that I was changing though. It's, it was some part of my growth, me being there in some, in, in some shape or form. It was it was part of growth though, me me being in there. But it's not needed though, because it it doesn't really all it does is just it damages you. Cause like why I say it damages you? Cause now it it pits them, it pits a label on you. Like when you go out there to apply for jobs, like. Now this person can't get a job because he has a record, because he was in jail, or he gotta wait five to seven years. He come home, boom! First time a person get locked up, they could change their life around. They know they want to get, they don't ever want to do nothing to get locked up again. Now this person want to come home, and he want to do something better with his life. He wanna, he wanna, um, he wanna start going back to school. Like what I did, I went right to school from when I came home. But he wanna go to school. He wanna uh. Blah, 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 he want to start working. Hey, he 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 can't get a job because he got the record. And they tell him he got to wait seven to eight years they, they do a background check. You got to be seven to eight years clean. But now he got to wait seven to eight years. And that's why there's so many re-offenders, though, because second-time offenders, because they tried to do the right thing for so long, and they can't find a job. So now they got to go back to selling drugs because they got – Family, they got a, a, a mom, they got to take care of her, they got kids, they got to take care of her, they got a wife, they got to take care of her, they got a baby mom, they got to take care of her, they got whatever they got, they probably got sick people in their life, they got sick parents, they got sick grandma, 
they might got somebody they got pay for uh they get like certain illnesses look after or pay for certain medications and they feel all the burden on themselves now they gotta do all this but they don't got no job so now they feel the pressure so now they resort so now they resort to uh selling drugs because like what else they going to do to take care of their family or provide for them or even for them to eat for themselves like a lot of these people they 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 don't want to just come home and just keep asking this person yo can you buy me something to eat or they got to depend on somebody just to feed their own self like why why should a man feel like he got to depend on somebody else to feed himself and put food in his belly so now he he resort to selling drugs or whatever he do he resort to that because they say it's it, they give second chances, but in the long run, when you fill out an application, they make you wait seven to eight years. That's all the time. The the at least by the time I've seen so far, it was like five years. They make you wait like five years before you uh can um get a job. So that's five years you gotta just be out there. Just but you won't get assistance. The government assistance they give you, little little welfare they give you. They, they give you the um. When you first come home, you're eligible to get that. But still, though, and that's only if you was in jail for a certain amount of time. And that's why some people, they rather be in jail, believe it or not. Like, people, you know, I was in there, people was coming home, and they were stressed because they was coming home. Like, they they got a place to stay. They got a place to, to, to go to sleep at. They, they got three meals a day. They've been in there for so long. When they come home, they don't, they probably don't got no family out there. They ain't got no girl. You feel me? They ain't got no kids going to take care of them. They older people. They older than me. And they, they don't really know much. They probably never did that much work in their life. So now they're not going to have nowhere to stay. So they just wondering, like, what they going to do. So it's crazy. So they at least know they when they when they at jail, they got somewhere to stay. When they in jail, they, they, got somewhere to, they got somewhere to eat. You feel me? So when they come home, that stuff is not promised to them. So now... They do stuff so they can stay in jail, though. And that's the crazy part about being in jail. That it actually, you get institutionalized. Yeah, no problem. But it's your boy Sensei Max. I'm going to hit my jack. I'm going to end it here anyway, though. I ain't know I was going for like 22 minutes, so I'm going to cut some of this one in half. But yeah, though, it's your boy Sensei Max. Appreciate y'all. Find subscribers. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe. Peace. I don't fuck with half of these niggas cause they might squill. I don't need a coat deep cause I bust my own still. If I ain't with two, a man, a man rock me in a wheel. We be busting down the tracks. Work with so they coming back. My man going cry to the Warriors, then I'm bitching crack. Better yet, I give it to my youngest, have a move with that. Only time I come around is when it's time to collect my check.